good day friends after seeing my last broadcast some friends sent me a letter asking me whether i would explain god particle they wanted to know whether god particle has anything to with, with god as he is claimed and uh, whether man has finally been able to find the particle that is actually god himself very interesting question and uh, i want to thank the person who sent this question and i want to assure you that you are not the only person who uh, who has been asking this question in fact there are a lot of people who have this question in their minds uh, as to whether man has finally been able to find god with the help of science and whether god is limited to a certain particle about which everybody is talking and uh, even a nobel prize has been granted uh let me begin with a summary or a summary statement saying that god particle has nothing to do with god number 1 number 2 nobody named it god particle it was just a mistake because of which it has been uh, termed god particle in the media what ha- what actually happened was the man who proposed and also many who were doing research on this particle when somebody asked them hey you have been uh, speaking about a certain particle known as higgs boson which is the right name not got got particle you have been talking about higgs boson now for more than 4 or 5 decades and where exactly is the particle so the person said oh this particle cursed by god we don't know when we would find it so he used the expression god damned particle and journalists simply picked up portions from that statement and they made it god particle and they started writing about god particle but the particle has nothing to do with god that should be clear to you first of all second uh, you should know something about the particle nature of matter till approximately before the time of dalton everybody thought that matter is made up of say continuous solids it was dalton who in modern science for the first time proposed that no if we divide matter into smaller and smaller particles finally we would reach at what is known as elements and if we keep on dividing elements finally we would reach particles which cannot be divided and he named those particles as atom that was the time Uh, when modern science discovered that matter is made up of particles of course eventually they discovered that atom could be divided into smaller particles and all of you already know about electrons protons neutrons uh, then uh, around 1930 they discovered a lot many more particles and around 1960s uh, they discovered that protons and neutrons are made up of smaller particles known as quarks and so on and we just don't know how long this division will go but uh, by the approximately by 1910 between 1910 and 1930 it became very clear that these particles are strongly bound with each other to make larger particles and those are bound with each other to make elements or say atoms and atoms are bound together with each other to make elements so the um, the biggest question was okay how do we explain the properties of matter and um, they came to a very safe deduction that properties of matter or properties of element they depend upon properties of atoms okay on what do the properties of atom depend they then said that properties of atom depend upon those particles which make the atom and then the question was uh, okay fine uh why do these particles attract each other now that's a question for which there is practically no answer there is practically no answer for most of the why or why is in science but there was another question how do they attract and many who studied they came up with a theory known as particle exchange theory i won't go into details suffice to say that these particles exchange smaller particles with each other and that gives rise to 
uh, attraction and that was the beginning of what is known as particle exchange theory in matter eventually they found out a large number of particles which are exchanged and one of them is higgs boson it was proposed by higg and that is why it is known as higgs and particles are generally classified into bosons and fermions two families this falls into the boson family and that is why this is known as higgs boson please remember there is neither god there of course he is there as creator uh, but once we study its properties uh, it's actually it has nothing to do with god or it has nothing to do with discovery of god or god particle that's a misnomer eventually they found out higgs boson uh, not many but they found out traces and since they have been waiting for higgs boson or a discovery of higgs boson for almost four or five decades the moment they found out a trace of it or a suggestion of it they announced that we have discovered higgs boson as plain as that they have not found out anything related to god or god, um, god's attributes it is not god particle what they originally said was god damned particle or a particle cursed by god and that also they said because of their frustration actually higgs boson is a particle made by god when he said when the scripture says in the beginning god created heavens and the earth or the higgs boson or everything that is necessary to give rise to higgs boson were created so in that way god is involved otherwise uh, the name god god particle is meaningless and if somebody comes and particularly rational if a rationalist comes to you and says that uh, listen man has discovered god in a laboratory in in the form of god particle don't believe it for a moment don't deal for a moment ask them to explain the moment you would try, you are you ask them to explain you would realize that they really don't know much about particle exchange theory they just heard that somebody discovered god um, in a subatomic particle and they are just repeating it to oppose the christian faith that's all so my dear young friend you who send me this question i'm thankful to you i want to assure you that uh, higgs boson has nothing to do with the discovery of god of course it's related to god the way the entire creation is related but it has nothing to do the way these rationalists are trying to make out of it it is not god particle it is not god man has not found god in a particle uh, though i wish that man would realize that there is uh, god and god's creative activity behind all these things but actually the so called god particle is a very wrong name or a misnomer for what is known as higgs boson traces of higgs boson have been found out and that is wonderful because uh, uh, the progress of science depends upon discoveries and uh, now that they have traces of higgs boson they would be able to fine tune those experiments to find more of those bosons so that they could study the properties and uh, take uh, fundamental science to the next higher level of understanding thank you for sending the question and uh, you are most welcome to send your questions to me i would try to answer as many of them as possible as fast as possible and uh, in as simple language as possible God bless you.